No, no. Quite recently. It was the fault of the psychiatrist. I'd been seeing him for my pyromania. That's someone who likes lighting fires, but you probably already knew that being university educated. You know the problem with pyromania? It's that it's the only crime you have to be at the scene of it to make it the perfect crime. To give yourself the full satisfaction. Of course, that means the risk of you getting caught is greater. Especially when you're standing in front of a fire face full of ecstasy with a gigantic heart on. So, the cops got me, sent me to a shrink. Says I have some unresolved issues with my mother. I think, hello? He's not going to tell me to do something edible like fucker or something. But that wasn't the problem. My ego had taken a severe battering from her. Should I had best resolve it? Stop her treating me like I was still a child. That made some sort of cosmic sense. I had to stand up to it. So I thought about it. Then I figured I best treat it like a boxing match. Get the uh, first punch in, so to speak, as to get the upper hand on our relationship. She had five cats. One night, I rounded them up, popped them in a cage, doused petrol on them, and then set a match to them. Then I opened the cage door and let them loose. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, what a racket. <laughs> They were running around the backyard, burning and howling. There is no such thing as grace under pressure for a burning cat, let me tell you. <laughs> I hid in the shrubs when mum came outside to see what happened. Totally freaked out, she did. All five of them running around the backyard like <laughs> purple bonfires. <sighs> I figured I'd wait a few hours until the cats were dead and mum was feeling a bit sorry for herself. Then I'd knock on the front door and say, Hi mum, I'm here to talk about our unresolved conflicts. But oh no. One of them damn cats ran into the house. In a few minutes, a whole bloody house was alight. And within a half an hour, there's no bloody door to knock on. If it wasn't for that bloody cat, I wouldn't be here. <laughs>